I mean, think right? about you being bo- like when we see things from outside, we look at Hamas and we know that, what monsters they are, right? But imagine being born in Gaza. You see this, whoever is associated with Hamas is, are the people that are opening the school, mm-hmm. handing out food, and the people that are called Israelis are the people that are reducing mobility, are the people that have with the you know constantly checking for your IDs, and you know you you, you in that condition, it's easy to see how why somebody would be. Pro-hamas. Explaining it does not mean excusing. Hamas's right? strongest weapons, well, yeah, there are two strong weapons. One is world sympathy, right? And the way they get the world sympathy is by civilian casualties in Israel. So, yes, they do use them as human shields. It's true. Hamas does use civilians as shields. And why wouldn't they? It gets them the sympathy of the world. The, the other thing that Hamas wants is. A one state solution. Want a one state solution because a one state solution is the end of Israel. Republicans, Democrats, from like Lyndon Johnson to Ronald Reagan, Reagan to George W. Bush, everybody was anti settlements and and uh, this was even you know, people. Trump, even Trump was anti. Internationally, it has devastated Israel's relationship with many countries. Economic made whatever, sense. from whatever angle you look at it, it made no sense to do set uh, settlements, right? Except the fact. That of the religious angle, and even if you're not religious, pandering to the religious, right? As a politician, uh, and getting- Hadis is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.